Wah, 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 wah. Hello, my friends. My name's Sammy Cake, and welcome to Vlogmas Day. Woo! I did it again. I went woo again. So last week, I was talking about how I nearly finished Center Blade. I was like, oh, final boss. I could not defeat the final boss straight away. It was really annoying, but to be fair, I was like six levels lower than it, so fair enough, I can kill it. So, I raged a lot, I ended up training and getting better equipment and getting new skills and stuff, and then I went back and I killed it. Although I kind of had to like, do it twice, because I went to do it and it bugs out, and I had to restart the whole finale bit over again, which is really annoying. I can't believe it bugged out. Basically, I killed it, and then it's meant to play a cutscene, but it didn't play cutscenes. So I was in this area with no monster attacking me, and it's just like, okay, cool. There's nothing to do. I can't make anything trigger to carry on with the story. So I just restart, which was really annoying. But whatever, I did it. It was all gravy, all gravy. And since I completed Xenoblade, which the cutscene ending was like 18 minutes long, it's ridiculous. Um, it was an amazing game though, I don't regret playing it, it was really a good game. And I recommend anyone to play it, you've got a lot of free time in your hands. But since I've been playing that, I've been playing some Monster Hunter. And I was a bit like fishy, let's just say, whether I'm going to like it or not. And I did actually like it, I'm actually enjoying it so far. I haven't been playing it much because I've been really busy with loads of things, with work and such, and it's just enjoyable still, Phil. And I've been playing it with Phil a teeny bit. I can't play much because my internet doesn't reach my bedroom for my 3DS for some odd reason, which is very annoying. But yeah, it's been really good, and I've been enjoying playing it, despite it can get quite annoying at times and tedious. But whatever, I still like it. At work the other day. I had my first angry customer. So if some of you don't know, I work at Asda, which is a superstore. It's pretty much like Walmart in America, if you live in America. They're from the same company anyway. But um, I was at work in Asda, and I was in the yogurt section, just putting out yogurts, and this lady came up to me and was like, oh, where are the Asda yogurts? So, as we already were at the yogurt aisle, I was like saying, Oh, which ones do you want specifically? As the yogurts. And I was just like, Yes, which ones? There's loads, there's Greek, there's flavoured, there's ones in tubs, there's ones in pots. Which ones do you want? I, I didn't say it like that. I was being really, like kind towards her, or as kind as possible. And I was just like, As the yogurt! Oh, fine, I'll just ask someone else. So she stomped off, asked someone else, and then she did the same thing with that guy and told him to shut up. Weird customer or what? And another customer came up to us and was like, wow, she was rude. Yes, she was. Um, I probably shouldn't be like talking about customers behind her back like this. But serve them right. They shouldn't be rude like that. I was trying to help them. If they gave me more information rather than the saying yogurts, I would have helped them. But nope. Nope. So yeah, my first angry bad customer at work it was it was all right actually <laughs> it was all right i wasn't like scared or anything i just kept my cool i was probably more annoyed it's like oh my god i can't believe her just rolled my eye at her when she wasn't looking yeah i do that <laughs> so yeah that happened and also pewdiepie is doing a shout out contest and despite how unlikely it is that I'm gonna win, I still signed up for it or registered for it or whatever. I think it's great that he gives this opportunity to YouTubers like me to get this shout out to hopefully expand our channel. I mean, honestly, it is like Jack says, because he got the shout out before, um, the shout out helps like get more recognition on the channel, but it doesn't mean that you can become a big YouTuber if you do win the shout out. The way it works is that you have to keep working hard, working at your best standards and trying your best for the channel and then you can grow bigger. 
So yeah, I registered or signed up. Well, I don't know what to call it. For this shout out, woo! And if anyone else is a fan of PewDiePie and have over 500 subscribers, I recommend you to give it a shout as well because you never know, you might be a winner. And I wish everyone the best of luck because I'm not going to get my hopes up. I'm not going to win it. I know I won't. But it's just a great opportunity. So thank you. And I want everyone else to know about it and spread the word. I'm so curious who's going to win it because it'd be awesome if one of you won it and I'd be like, hey, you won it. Congratulations. Because that'd be cool. This would be awesome if someone I knew won it. So yeah. Yeah. So that's happening. And also today is, well, I'm recording this on for Monday, so it's 7th of September. And today is my mama's birthday. Happy birthday to my mama. I'm not actually sure how old she is. I think she's 59. It's quite old. But yeah, it's my mum's birthday. She probably wouldn't like it if I told her everyone's age. But she doesn't look it. Let's just say that, she doesn't look it. So yeah, it's my mum's birthday. And I got her this birthday card. And it came with a keyring of an owl. It's really cute. I kind of am tempted to, like, steal the owl keyring and keep it for myself. But I'm not going to. And I would show it to you, but I've already wrote the cards and licked the envelopes. I can't. Sorry. And at the moment, Phil's watching me record this vlog on Skype and he just laughed at me because I said lick he's so childish anyway another thing I want to talk about is to be the last thing before I start cakes trends which is Dark Souls yeah I got the PC PC PS3 version of it because I played on the PC before and I was a bit worried about doing this but I want to record on the console now rather than the PC version so the performance will be a bit better hopefully. Um but to be fair I saw like there was like performance issues on the console which is weird. But I played some Dark Souls and I tried to catch up to where I was before and funnily enough I managed to do it in like five and a half hours, which is ridiculous. Because I killed all these bosses easily well before I can do it easily at all it's just crazy like the gargoyles I, t I don't know how many times I've died doing them but I killed one of the gargoyles before the other one could even catch up to me <sighs> how so yeah I did all that I haven't killed the butterfly yet that's the only thing I haven't done yet but I've killed the witch I killed the capra demons it I killed the gargoyles and the big rat and the, oh what's it called in? The demon, the little demon, but I need to kill that. The gaping dragon, that's what it's called. Yeah, I killed the gaping dragon that I needed to kill to get into Blight Town. But Blight Town is really laggy, it was really weird. But anyway, I've caught up and I just defeated the witch, I rang the bell and um, I'm at the demon place, I forgot what it's called. So that's cool. That's the thing. And I'm gonna record some more Dark Souls after we record this vlog, I think. This would be cool. But because it's a new playthrough, I've got a different setup. So I think before I was using a straight sword to fight monsters. But now I'm using a great sword. And also I got that I don't know what it's called, it's like a ball helmet or something. I don't know why I did not get that to drop before, but this time I did, so I'm wearing that. And I also bought this torso thing from the guy outside Blight Town entrance. So yeah, different setup, but I'm doing amazing. Woo! I'm a lower level as well, so it might be a bit harder. But considering how well I've been doing so far, it might be easier. I hope it's easier. But I can't wait to play some more Dark Souls because it's a really awesome game. Anyway, I'm going to move on to Cakes Trends. If you have a question for me for Cakes Trends, use hashtag Cakes Trends down below in the comments section right there. But now for the first question for Cakes Trends, and it's from the one, the only, Phil Harvey, who is my boyfriend. He asks, are you enjoying Monster Hunter? Hot! Yes! Yes I am! It's pretty cool, I like playing it. It's just can get a bit tedious at times because you'll just continue hitting this one monster over and over and over again. But it can be good. Cause with Monster Hunter I was trying to like find the best weapon for me as well. Usually I would go for dual shorts or something, but this time I thought 
I'll try it over the other weapons and see which one I like. And hopefully one of them, I'll be like, yes, 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 I need that weapon. Yes. So, I tried out all these weapons, I couldn't find one at first, and eventually I did. And I'm using the charge blade, which is really awesome, I actually really enjoy it. Because, you can like, um, you charge it up using it as like a sword and shield. And then once you do that, you make it into this like big axe machine thing. And you can make it explode when you hit enemies, and it's so cool, I absolutely love it. So yeah, I'm using the charge blade. I'm also a bit of a noob at itself though. Um, I haven't played it that much because I've been busy, I said that early in the vlog. But it's still good, I want to play it a lot more. I'm going to play a lot more today and tomorrow because it's my mum's birthday so I'm going to be stuck downstairs so I'll be playing it then. And then I'm going to my dad's house tomorrow so I'll be playing it at his house as well. So I'm going to be on my computer. So I will be playing a little bit today and tomorrow, which is a Monday and Tuesday. So you're watching this on a Wednesday so it's a bit late for that. Um, but yes, it's alright, I like it. Ghost Rider asks, which video was it where someone asked you to do the whole video on the toilet? Also, would you ever do that? Like, not the whole video, of course, that's not possible, Like, but like the captions part or something. Is that meant to be cakes, Jones? I don't know. Also, laugh. Yeah, that's a dare. I dare you to laugh. Huh? <laughs> 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 oh my god. That was really difficult to do. <laughs> but yes. Someone did actually say to do a video on the toilet before. Um, it, I did the outro bit on the toilet. It was the video of my addiction. I went back and looked at what video it was. But I did the outro on the toilet, but the toilet seat was down, so it was okay. It was all right. Yes. I'm not doing a proper video on the toilet, though, because that'd be really weird. I would just do it sitting on a toilet seat that's down. Yeah. Next question is from James Cook. He asks, who would you have soundtracking game of your own creation? Uh, I never really gave it much thought. Honestly, I've always just wanted Phil to do it. Phil just told me he would choose Mission Man Sure. I don't know who that is. But for me, I'd probably just choose Phil because I really don't know. I never really thought about it. And he can do some soundtracking stuff or something. He could do music editing or whatever. So, I would probably rely on him just because I feel like I can. I actually don't know how good or bad he'll be at it, but I don't really mind. Okay, I do maybe mind a little bit. But from what I heard, he seems to be quite good at it. C4 Saberkin asks, when your channel gets big, are you going to find all of us first people comments? I have been watching you since 100 subs and I didn't have a YouTube channel. Then I do and you have grown a lot. Thank you. Um, I would like to. I mean, I don't think I'm going to forget many of you at all. You've all just been so supportive and it'd be really difficult to forget you. As long as you keep the same picture name. I'm really good at remembering pictures and name, I like to think. But, um, yeah, I'm probably not going to purposely find you, but I will still, like, try my best to reply to your comments. And, honestly, I probably prioritise your comments a bit more just because you've been there for longer. I probably won't be purposely finding these comments, but I will still, like, try my best to read comments and I will, like, read your comments and try to reply to it if I can. Hopefully, if this channel does get bigger, I can finish work, and that means if I can have no job, and this will be my job instead, then I can concentrate a lot more in replying to comments, because I know currently I'm quite bad at it, and I really want to, like, get better at it, but I just can't. It's annoying. But, um, yeah, I would definitely reply to comments a hell of a lot more, and I will definitely, like remember you because you do have a special place in my heart just because you've just been there for ages so thank you so much for all your support everyone <laughs> and now for the last question is from Black End Rose and he asks West Curious we know your favourite character which is Link but what's your favourite villain in games you always cheer me up Sammy stay cake sweet woo I will I don't know 
I mean, I could just say Ganondorf, but that's one of the same game series, so I'm probably not going to. And thinking about it, I don't think he is actually my favourite villain. I think my favourite villain is um, Handsome Jack, which is a bit weird because he's not always a villain, like in Tales from the Borderlands, he's not a villain in that. And in the prequel, he wasn't really a villain in that either, so... Ugh. But in Borderlands still he was. And honestly, I think he was a really great villain because he just seems to have so much personality. And that's what I liked about him. He just had so much personality, he was funny, and he was just a great villain. Another great villain out there is the villain from Far Cry 3. I forgot his name. Vass. That's what his name is. Vass. But he is just... I can't describe it. I mean, when I was playing it, I actually really hated him. And I think it's so clever how Far Cry 3 did that. They actually made you really hate this guy just because of his attitude, his personality. You just hated it so much. And I thought that was really just clever. And that's probably one of my favourite villains as well. Because I don't think I've ever felt that strongly against a villain before. So... Yeah, so one of those two would be my favourite villain. The one that's really bad, and the one that's kind of funny and goofy and cool. But anyway, that's all the questions for Cakestrons this week. If you have a question for me, use hashtag Cakestrons down below, and I will answer it next time on Vlogmas Day. But I've got to leave this video here on Vlogmas Day. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like, comment, subscribe. All of it is so good. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Follow my social media down below right there. And that's it for this video of Vlogmas Day. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope you kicked out today. Bye bye! There's no, there's no like choice. Oh my god. Now I guess we can. I can text Warren and tell him he's going to dance. I love being. He probably will. Be. Yeah, I love watching me do that outro then. I'm just mouthing it along with me. Do you do that? Do you mouth my outro with me?